Hi, I'm Elizabeth Lawson, and I'm delighted to be telling you about studying the EPQ here at OLA. So the EPQ stands for Extended Project Qualification. So what is an EPQ? Well, the Extended Project is an exciting qualification that puts you, the student, in control, giving you the chance to explore something that really interests you. It's worth half an A-level that will earn you extra UCAS points. It'll look impressive on your personal statement and UCAS form and it will teach you skills that are valued by universities and employers. We've been teaching the EPQ here at OLA since 2016 and our results have been very impressive each year. So in 2019, 70% of our students achieved an A or an A star grade. So is it right for you? Well, the project has no exams, which is a good thing, <laughs> but it does have coursework. So if you're self-motivated and enjoy working independently, whether in a practical way, like designing or performing, or researching, investigating and writing, then the project is for you. So you can learn more about uh, something that really interests you and perhaps you haven't had a chance to look at it in the past. You can investigate a controversial topic. You can expand your knowledge of one of your A-level subjects, or it might be that there is an A-level subject that you couldn't take or uh, because you had to decide on three, and there was one that you wanted to do but you couldn't, well you could choose to explore something in that field through the EPQ. And you'll gain practical skills that will help you in higher education and in the workplace. So what do you have to do? So with the extended project you get a say in what you want to study. So with the help of your teacher who will be effectively your supervisor, you choose a topic to explore in depth usually the one that interests you, um, which you might like to study in higher education or pursue as a career. And it's a good idea to link it to one of your AS or A-level subjects because you'll already have some background knowledge of these and you'll be able to gain a greater understanding of them. So there are four different types of project to pick from. So you can write a dissertation, uh, you can produce an artifact like a sculpture, a model, a DVD, um, you can develop and showcase a performance, whether that's in the field of sport, drama or music, or, or you can conduct an investigation or a field study. And here are some examples of previous um, project qualifications. So dissertations titles have included why do 14 to 19 year olds smoke cannabis? A controversial subject. Uh, can you believe in God and the Big Bang? And should children be forced to exercise? Um, artifacts, you could look at um, recycled things and you could make jewellery from recycled materials. You could look at erosion and decay as your topic and you could create a series of images of paintings, photos, prints based on that theme. Um, you could make a model church created using CAD. For an investigation, you could look at whether Wi-Fi is safe. You could look at whether violent computer games contribute to antisocial behaviour. And think about do government health campaigns affect levels of binge drinking and for a performance you could look at the role of comedy in serious culture and is music effective as a way of motivating workers and how can we make classical texts popular to new audiences so there's four different routes for the EPQ and I'm sure as you can see there are numerous opportunities so what will you learn and how will you be marked? So once you've agreed on your title of what you want to study with your teacher, you'll be given guidance on um, developing that skill and how to manage the project. And whatever you choose as your topic, you'll be expected to work independently, but you will be supported weekly in a lesson uh, led by myself and Mr. Chim, and also with a supervisor who you'll meet for 20 minutes each week to help guide you. And you'll learn and be assessed on how well you manage your work, such as planning your time and choosing what methods to use, how you select and use information and resources throughout the project, the range of skills you develop and use to achieve what you set out to do, and how effectively you review your own work. So in other words, it's not what you produce, but the process um, and how you manage the project. And what you learn and how you perform throughout the time spent on your project all count towards the final grade. The skills that you learn to complete your project will be really helpful whether you want to go into higher education, university, or you want to go and get a job. So what have students said about the EPQ? The best thing about it is the way we can learn about and work at what interests us. And we've 100% had students at OLA um, 
do that. So this year we've had one student who decided to um, design and make a costume for the school musical production of Greece. Um, so it was an area that really interested her and um, she wasn't doing A-level um, textiles. So it helped to fulfill that gap in the curriculum for her. I've learned a lot about self-motivation through this work. And 100% that's what a lot of our students say, that they've learned a lot about working independently, managing their time and having to self-motivate. No other course gives such scope for individuality and originality. And we certainly have had some very original EPQs here at OLA. So um, some memorable ones include um, a sculpture, which is in the form of, a, of an, of, of an artefact for an EPQ. And a student decided to show the history of blacksmithing in a sculpture that was made through the skills of blacksmithing. Um, so definitely high there for originality and individuality. And finally, I feel proud that my project is totally my own research and work. And that's one of the great things that I think students get from this course and also that they can talk about in university applications or in job interviews in the future is those skills, that ability to research and work independently. So I highly recommend the EPQ. The majority of our students in lower six undertake this. The great thing about studying it is that it's finished at the end of lower six, so that when you apply to university, you already have a qualification to put on your form. If you do want to know any more information, you can email Mr. Chim or myself, Dr. Lawson. Thank you.